Placerville is a place where remnants of the past are proudly displayed. And downtown is much like a rich serenade to history. You've got the um, hardware store, you've got the old newsstand that all go back to the 1800s. So for many... It is wrong. I come down here and there's, there's a rope with nothing attached to it. This means so much more than just a missing dummy. It's just one of these things. It's part of our town. It's part of our history. It's why people might come to downtown. They look for the hangman. This picture of him snapped right before he vanished this weekend from above what was the hangman's tree bar. Seen anybody take selfies with the hangman in the back? Oh yes, all the time. Yeah, I haven't seen anyone use the selfie stick yet. This historical spot on Main Street marks where criminals once met swift justice during the gold rush days not a part of the past everyone wants remembered. They're not from Placerville. They don't understand our history. It'd be like going to London and not liking the, the clock or something. Theories about the hangman's disappearance abound, from it being an act by those who disagree with the display to a teenage prank. The high schools like to steal them. <laughs> to a mannequin's mini vacation. Uh, he could have went deer hunting. It's deer season. He could have went to the high country. Police say he disappeared on Thanksgiving two years ago, but was returned that same day been stolen, been painted, been had masks put on it. I don't know. There are no cameras nearby and police say there are no leads so far. The tourists look forward to seeing our hangman. It's just the only place you'll see a hangman usually, you know, is in Placerville. But not in the last few days and indefinitely as Hangtown misses its hangman. In Placerville, Claire Dwan, KCRA 3 News.